Welcome to the Plumbing Group Pipeline. I'm your host, Nicole Crocky, Chief Editor of Plumbing and Mechanical and PM Engineer Magazines. Here's a recap of the industry's latest headlines. Oscar William Freeman was inducted into the AMAR Hall of Fame during a ceremony at the Rep Association's 50th Annual Conference at the Gaylord Rockies Resort in Aurora, Colorado on October 14th. Freeman's honor was accepted by his wife, Cherie, and sons, Ben, Chase, and Mike, along with their spouses. They shared a touching tribute to their father among a crowd of fellow manufacturers' representatives and manufacturers from across the industry. It's a great honor, and we are also happy they recognize Bill and all his hard work over the years. While our company wouldn't be what it is today without his leadership and mentorship, he would also say he couldn't have accomplished any of this without the support of his team, our manufacturers, customers, rep network, and industry friends, said the Freeman family. Freeman had a lasting impact on AMAR over the years. He served as an AMAR executive board member and AMAR president from 2006 to 2007. Next, Marconi announced that its HVAC division, Munch's Supply, has acquired Bell Simmons, including its 29 branches and three distribution centers in seven states, servicing the New England area. This will expand the company's geographic footprint to 103 locations serving 18 states and the province of Ontario, Canada. We are excited to expand upon our company's presence in the Northeast, said Jim Sowers, Marconi's CEO. As we got to know the Bell Simmons team, led by Florin Bolin, President, and Katie Zada, Controller and CFO, it was clear they have built a great business and possess a culture that aligns with our laser-like focus on taking care of our people so they can deliver exceptional service to customers. We are happy to welcome both the customers and employees of Bell Simmons into our family of brands. Next, Leap Partners, a home services company with HVAC and plumbing businesses across the Southeast, recently expanded into the Kentucky market through its acquisition of Hornback Plumbing. In addition to Hornback Plumbing, based in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, Leap Partners' growing business portfolio currently includes companies located in Alabama and Tennessee. Under its new ownership, the Elizabethtown Plumbing Company will still operate as Hornback Plumbing, and former owners Donnie and Ken Hornback will continue to lead their team. Leap Partners was a great company for us to join because they know the importance of helping local businesses like ours grow while continuing to maintain strong ties to the community, Donnie Hornback said. They will offer us operational support that will help us better serve our customers, employees, and the community. Next up, Mechanical One, an HVAC gas and plumbing services provider, will change lives when it awards mortgage-free homes to two employees this holiday season. The winners will be picked in a lottery during an event on December 3rd at the Hard Rock Live at Universal Orlando Resort. More than 1,000 people are expected to attend the event. At the time of the home giveaway announcement in December 2021, there were 65 employees working at the company. That number has grown more than 500% in just the past nine months. With demand for HVAC gas and plumbing services growing to meet housing needs in Central Florida, Mechanical One is meeting builders' needs with its expanding workforce. We build communities at work, but we want to better our communities during that time outside of work. Investing in our employees has been one of our top priorities. We see each employee as a family that our company is supporting rather than an individual who comes to work each day, said Mechanical One President Jason James. The company offers day one health insurance options that also include coverage for mental health. Mechanical One also gives employees access to free financial education tools. In order to qualify for the free home giveaway, employees must be employed at Mechanical One for one year, take a financial education course, and complete 20 hours of community service. And last, but not least, Munters will build an all-new site in the USA to house its desiccant dehumidification products and services for the North American market. The 400,000-square-foot flagship facility will be located in Amesbury, Massachusetts. The site will be home to the Munters workforce in Amesbury. Market demand for the precise temperature and humidity control that desiccant dehumidification technology provides has grown considerably driven by the expansive electrification and digitalization trends. This state-of-the-art build-to-suit facility will significantly increase capacity, offer improved workflows, and provide more inviting and comfortable environment for employees. The new facility will house fabrication, assembly, rotor production, a new R&D lab, as well as a service training academy. In line with Munter's sustainability goals, 
Investments will be made in equipment that doesn't rely on fossil fuels, and renewable energy sources will be used for the building's electrical consumption. The plan is to be fully operational at the new site in 2024. For more information on these stories and more of the latest industry news, visit us at pmmag.com, pmengineer.com, or supplyht.com.